Okay, we are back with some exciting news. I'm uh, guys. I'm so stoked about this. Um, Smokey and the Bandit, of course, the Hollywood Reporter is reporting this. Smokey and the Bandit TV series in the works from Seth MacFarlane and Danny McBride. Now, this is good stuff. Okay, uh, David Gordon Green and Brian Sides will pen the script from a project from Universal Content Productions. Smokey and the Bandit rides again. Uh, so as the article goes on, more than 40 years since uh, Burt Reynolds' featured film launched a franchise, Universal Content Productions is reviving the property for television with a new series in development from some of the biggest names in comedy. Uh, Note Network is attached at this time. Now, David Gordon Green, uh, Pineapple Express, Eastbound and Down. I worked on season one of Eastbound and Down, season three of Eastbound and Down, and season four of Eastbound and Down. Uh, I also worked on the uh, Halloween uh, reboot that David Gordon Green did. Uh, Rough House Pictures. Um, uh, frequent collaborators Brian Sides, Alaska, The Last Frontier, are reteaming to co-write a new take on the 1977 Southern Adventure pick. Fellow Green cohorts Danny McBride, Jody Hill, and uh, Brandon James of Rough House Pictures, which I've worked for, will also executive produce the potential series alongside Seth MacFarlane and Erica Huggins and their Fuzzy Door banner. Green will also direct the potential pilot. And it goes on and on and on and on the article uh, about everything that David Gordon Green's doing and all that kind of stuff. And they, they talk about the legacy characters and all that. Um, I'm really excited about this. Unlike the Dukes of Hazard uh, film that came out, which um, I was not really a fan of. I loved all the car stunts, the jumps, everything that they did with the go mobile, um, uh, you know, on top of the car and the whole nine yards, uh, all the all the stunts. Uh, Dan Bradley did second unit, did all the stunt stuff with the cars, you know, all the ratchet throwing the cars through the air. We know they can do a movie like Smokey and the Bandit. But the Dukes of Hazard kind of went off of what they were. They kind of mixed the the Dukes of Hazard with American Pie, and unfortunately, it didn't work. Um, you know, the original series was very uh, wholesome, uh, and, and and you know, it it was more a family show. It was all about Uncle Jesse and his kids and all that kind of stuff, and and being kind and good, and the bad guys, even though they were bad, they would get their plots foiled and all that stuff. This is a different animal. You've got Burt Reynolds. When Burt Reynolds made Smokey the Bandit, he was still riding high. He was one of the, he was like Brad Pitt of his time. He was the largest box office draw in history uh, at that time. He was the sexiest man alive before the sexiest man alive ever existed. Um, you had Jerry Reed with uh, the amazing soundtrack. Uh, you had um, Sally Field. Uh, I mean, um, uh, you know, you had Jackie Gleason, who hands down, going back to the Honeymooners, is one of the one of the most amazing talents of his time. Uh, so first and foremost, like the first thing that popped in my head was: is Dave is um, Danny McBride going to play, uh, uh, you know, the Bandit? And I thought. Uh, but then it hit me that like Seth MacFarlane with a mustache and the cowboy hat would be way more perfect, perfectly suited to play the bandit. Uh, and you could always get Danny McBride to play Jerry Reed's character if you wanted to. Now, they haven't announced any of the casting, but the way these guys work, I could see them totally doing this themselves and putting themselves in it with David Gordon Green behind the lens on this series. Um, all these guys are fantastic to work with. They're so much fun. And I, I think they can actually make what the Dukes of Hazard kind of failed to do because these guys love the subject matter. And if you look at what David Gordon Green did with Halloween and, and Halloween Kills, that's going to be coming out next year. And then they haven't started filming Halloween Ends yet, but they will. I think it's this, it's next September, uh, they're going to get going on that, uh, uh, to shoot next October. Um, so that would be 2021. Uh, 
but all the guys at Rough House, they're great, man. And Seth MacFarlane is is amazing. So if if these guys pull this off, this could be an amazing show. As long as they don't borderline parody it too much, like and go completely off the rails like what they did with the Dukes of Hazard, I think this is gonna work. I love the original Smoking the Bandit. Smoking the Bandit 2 started getting a little, you know, uh, but the ending of that was absolutely uh, fantastic. Smoking the Bandit 3 was a, did not work for me at all with Jerry Reed, you know, um, driving the, the Pontiac Trans Am at that time because Knight Rider was big and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, but this could work. Uh, what do you guys think about Smoking the Bandit, the TV series, all the guys over at Rough House? Uh, are going to tackle this. What do you guys think? Let's talk about it in the comments section and we'll see you on the next one.